Hey, hey, and welcome to another video in our learning Java 2D game programming series. So in the last episode, we introduced the game map class and the tile class, and we created this map, which currently is just a grid with red lines. Uh, eventually, there will be images inside of these tiles, but that's not for today. Today's topic will be the camera. So we will create a camera class which will be able to follow our player around so that we can see more of our map. So let's get to it. First go to your display package and create our new camera class. So our camera is going to want at least two things. It's going to want a position, of course. And we also need to give it a size. And maybe we should be clear. Let's just call this the window size so we know what we're talking about. This size will be the same size as our J frame. And actually, let's also create an, an optional of a game object. And let's import optional. And let's call it object with focus. So we don't have to focus on an object. We don't have to center our camera on an object, but we can. So this optional can be empty and then we'll just use whatever position we're at or whatever position we set for our camera. And if we have something here, then use that thing's position. And you will see in a minute what I mean. So Alt insert, create a constructor. And we only want to take in the size, the position, the starting position isn't important. So let's just say position is equal to new position. Just put it at zero, zero for now, which is the same place where it is right now. And yes, so now we need an update method and we probably need to take in a state. So inside of this update method, we want to check, I mean, if, um, if we have something with focus, then we want to make sure that we are actually focusing on this. If we don't have anything with focus, we don't need to do anything. We just stay at the same position. And if we want to change position, then something else is probably going to do that and call set position. So in here, we just want to know if object with focus is present, right? And if it is present, then we want to follow it. So first, let's just get the position of our object. Uh, object position, let's call it. Object with focus, get, get position. And we can call get here because we checked that it is actually present. So this has something. All right, so let's set this position. And we don't have any setters yet. So let's go to our position. And let's alt insert generate setters for x and y. So this position set x object position get x, but also minus window size get width and then divided by two. And this will center. This will um, center our units to our screen based on the window size. All right, so let's just duplicate that and do the same for Y. So get Y and get height, of course. Right, so this should focus on it. Right now, we don't have a way to set the object. So let's just give it a method to focus on. And let's give it a game object object. And this object with focus is equal to optional of object. Ah, oh, Jesus. Silly hands, silly fingers. Okay, we don't use the state yet, but we are going to, I'm quite sure. But this little part will do for now. Uh, of course, we need to use it inside of our display and renderer. But in order to do that, we need to pass it in, which means that our state is going to have to have it. So let's put it inside our state. 
our state now has a camera. However, what we don't have inside our state is the window size, which we now need. So let's give it a size and call it window size. And then let's make a new, oh sorry, camera is equal to new camera and call it, and give it the window size. So now we have that and eventually we're gonna update something and then we let's say camera and update of course and then we'll pass in this. So the state needs, right, so let's go into the game state. Now that's sad. We want a window size here, which means we need a window size here. So give it a size, window size. Okay, and now this is sad because we want to just give it a new size with the width and the height. And we should probably refactor so that this uses it as well, maybe even this. But let's do one thing at a time. Uh, I know I'm not the best at even following my own advice, but at least this time I remembered to not do too many things at once. Okay, so we've put it all in there, we've updated it. We have not yet asked it to follow our player, so let's do that inside of our game state and say camera.focus on, and we need to extract this into a variable so that we can give it to our camera as well. So control shift V, no, I am sorry. Alt shift V, alt control V, yes. Okay, so alt control V um, will take whatever you have here and put it in a variable for you, which is very nice. So add the player and focus on the player. And I don't know if I've missed anything, let's try it out. And I've definitely missed something. Yes, of course I have. I haven't put it in our render yet. Silly me, silly me. Okay, so inside of our render, so the nice thing about our, us already passing in the state is that we don't need to pass in anything else. We can fetch it. So in order to make this work, we need to get the camera first. So camera, camera is equal to state. And of course we haven't made that getter yet. So let's go to our state, go to alt insert and make a getter for the camera and go back into our renderer. So get camera. All right. So what we need to do now is we need to subtract the camera's position. So get position, oh geez, get X. There are so many getters to generate. You never generate enough getters, so get the position. Um, at the same time, I think this is the right way to do it. Of course, this needs to be an int now since it's a draw drawing. Um, I think it's the right way to actually generate or implement methods as you need them. Because um, otherwise you're just cluttering your code with stuff you're not even using. and Nobody likes that. So I do think this is the right way to do it. So in Y, all right, and we need to do the same thing for the tiles as well. So let's get that camera and let's use it in here. So subtract the camera position and the Y. All right, so let's see if we have better luck this time. And we do. We absolutely do. So I am super happy about that. There are still a couple of things to fix. Sorry. I would like... Um, so as you can see, it's not perfectly, perfectly centered, uh, but it is. The thing is, our sprites, our units, his position is actually here. So the image starts from his position and then goes to the X and the Y axes, uh, which puts him here. So in order to center him, we would need to subtract half of his width and half of his height. So let's do that 
in here for now. I'm not sure that this is where it belongs, but let's do it in here for now. So let's get our game object, get size, get width, and then divide it by two. And then game object, you know the drill, size, get heights, divided by two. If we check that again, he should now be centered. And he is. Now he should be perfectly centered. So yay for that. But there's still one more thing that I'd like to fix and I would actually like to clamp the camera position to our map bounds. I don't want to see all of this black space. I want it to stop once it reaches the boundaries. So we can do that if we go into our camera and this is why we wanted the state. Told you we would need it. Okay, so clamp um, clamp within bounds maybe and pass in the state. All right, let's generate that method. And let's check if position get x is less than zero. We don't want that. So let's say position set x zero. And then do the same for the y. Position get y. If it's less than zero, clamp it. Oh, sorry, set y zero. That is what we want. And now we want to do the same, but for the size, which we're going to need to calculate a little bit. So if our position, get x um, plus the window size, get width. If that is larger, then the state get game map get tiles. Actually, I don't like this. We need to have helper methods. So let's just say get width and we're going to need to uh, implement these. Um, then let's do position set x, get game map, get width minus window size get width and we're going to do the same for the y with the height if get y get height get height set y get height get height all right let's go to our game map and make these get width get height so game map class public int get width and we need to calculate this so let's do tile sorry return tiles.length times game dot sprite size all right so i mean it wasn't that bad but anyway i still like for it to be in here tiles and then of course get one of the rows length times game sprite size. Let's go back to our camera and see what it says. It looks happier. Let's try it out. And look at that. We still haven't implemented any type of collision, so we can still walk outside, but at least it doesn't look outside. So let's see what happens if we walk to the center. It now follows us. So there you have it. We've implemented a camera and it seems to also be working when we get to the bounce or the end. So yay for us. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Hey, do.